as I just said, um, when we are here within the frame of some training sessions, I want to give you some advice on training, some general advice on training volumes and training frequency, content training and how to set up a suitable plan. So at first I want to say that training four to five times a week with about two to three hours of training is in my eyes ideal. There you can really nearly reach everything. With that volume you are close to the to the, to the step between an amateur to professional sportsman. You know? I mean, if, when you are pro, you train perhaps five hours a, a day per training session, but a day five times a week, five hours to six hours, then you can compete with Olympia athletes perhaps even. But I would say, let, let's say four to five times a week, about two to three hours is ideal. And what are you doing in this time? Of course, you're not running all, always all the time, or you're not doing some kind of physical education all the time, some strength training. That's not the goal. You want to be a ninja, you want to train your skills in the first point. That means as much as possible you should try to practice skills and technique. That means your fighting skills like basic, basic kicks, boxing techniques, and parkour, weapon techniques, everything um, yeah, related to technique. Um, that's easy said, but of course that's not over. Your fundamentals, the fundamentals of every athlete, in my eyes, is first strength, second endurance, third flexibility. And this is not uh, the, the recommended order. The order does depend on what you want to do, you know. The flexibility is very crucial for techniques. If you want to have high kicks, if you want to be very acrobatic, very, very fluid, if you want to do more kind of free running show techniques, flexibility is very crucial, perhaps even more important than endurance, or perhaps even than strength. The strength is also important because it gives you the explosiveness that you need to, to do certain tricks. If you want to do real fighting, the endurance is very, very important. That's the most important point then, because if you have a superior endurance and you do sparing, you might outcome or overcome your, your opponent just by then. After a few minutes he will be exhausted and you can still keep on going and then you can go do everything, you know, and in the point he is exhausted you can you can release what, what's still in your tank, you know, and that will give you the win. If you do Jiu Jitsu, strength is very important for grappling and also endurance. So there is, there is not something that I would say is preferable. The better you are in any of these points, the better it is. And of course, you should not let one of these points completely. It's like, you know, like the, the barrel, you know, when, when the plant is growing, it needs all nutrients in a certain way. If there's one nutrient very highly available, it has no effort for the plant. Because the, the, the nutrient that is less available restricts the growth of the plant. And the same with this with your skills as ninja. You need to have all these three basics. So I recommend to do at least three times a week serious stretching where you use about one, half an hour just on stretching, especially the leg and the back exercises. I will show a stretching routine in the next days, whenever I find the time to take the video. But you can find a lot of, of, of stretching routines all over the internet. Just have a look, experience around, try to get the splits, try to get a clean bridge, that will help a lot. That's one thing, three times stretching. Then you need endurance training. And then I would recommend also at least two times a week that you do some cardio for at least 45 minutes somehow. If it is running or if it is a fitness workout, doesn't matter, but yeah, two times a week, a period of 45 minutes where you keep your body going, so to say. You don't have a big rest in between, so that, that you get used to, to, to stress your body. That will give you a lot of, yeah, a lot of more abilities to, to train. Also in your technique training you will be able to do more reps of the technique because you don't get exhausted so fast and so on. And there's the strength training that I would recommend at least once a week where you go to the gym and you lift some heavy weights or something like that. And all the rest, you should do um, 
um, technique you're training. You see, when you train five times a week or four times a week, it will be quite hard to do all these exercises. So usually what I do is one day where I do, go to the gym and do strength training for two hours, and that's how I always train. Nowadays I cannot do it anymore because of my job and I'm not a professional athlete and I have certain things in my private life, so I cannot keep up this high volume anymore. But, but that's my recommendation and that's how I did it for several years and I was quite successful with this, this kind of training. So once a week and usually at the end of the week before I have my break days, usually I did three days of training, one day break, two days of training, one day break. I do, um, I did a strength training at the last of the five exercise days. Then three days I did just um, technical training. And always before I practiced on the techniques, usually for one hour, one and a half hour kicks and acrobatics, I did half an hour to 45 minutes of, of stretching. And after the, the technical training with the kicks and all the acrobatic stuff, I practiced with some weapons just for 20 minutes, half an hour playing around with the weapon to get some basic skills in handling the weapon. And yeah, and the rest of the time, I, well, the other day, I tried to do something else, usually just for fun, or I went running, I went to the climbing center, whatever, you know, but I tried also to, to do then some cardio, go to swim, whatever, just like that. Or usually I also did perhaps only two times technical training and one stretching and then the ninja fighter workout that I just um, taped that you can find on my channel. And that's a really great workout. Also for a long period, I went running always in the morning or did the workout in the morning and in the evenings, so I trained in the morning for 45 minutes before I went to work and then in the evenings I did two hours of technical training. That's really a high training volume, five times a week, three hours is a lot of training. It's really, I think, it's the upper, the upper border that you can reach without being a professional athlete. When you have studies, when you have a job, when you need to go to school, Perhaps in the school time you can manage that, but, but more is simply only possible when you get paid for it and you earn your living with it. Otherwise, your schedule is just too full and you will, you will have a burnout at some point. So I think really that's the upper limit. Most people can train really less and then I recommend also to train often. Let's say perhaps four times in the week or five times in the week in the evenings for one and a half hours and then you do two or three times technical training you go to the gym to your to your dojo or whatever you, you practice your techniques and once or twice you do perhaps the workout that I showed you or you went to the gym and, and you do do some strength training. What you can also do and that's what I'm doing also in a way is really um, Thinking of whom, whom I am, and I consider myself in a way like a ninja. So that's that's what I am in my inner. It's not what I show to the outside. So also when I'm at work, I often do some kind of exercise. And I'm talking to people, I try to stand just on one one of the feet. It's not important that you raise up one foot very high. It's just to put all your balance on the ball of your of one of your feet. And you try to stand on one foot to balance it out, something like that. Or while you're working, you stretch some some muscles. Or also every two hours, I do perks for five minutes of exercises where I do some squats, some push-ups. Where I do go to the door frame and I do a few chins. Um, that sums up. It's not like that, you know. Also, and my, my office is in the fourth floor, the fifth floor. We have water bottles, or water bottles are on the ground floor. I never take the elevator, I get the box of water bottles and I walk up all the stairs. And really, it's, it's a lot of, it's kind of workout. I mean, it's very short, it takes me five to maximum ten minutes, but I feel that, that really all of my muscles are, are, are tense at that moment or burning. And that's a kind of principle. I read about it in a book called The Peak Principle from a famous climber, I think his name is Jürgen Weiss. And he says, you want to be a performance athlete, you want to be at the, at the top, you, so, so you should do that always in your life. You take always the stage, you never take the elevator. All your, 
all your life, every your daily life is preparation is training. And you can see it like that. If you have a very high training volume, I would not recommend that because then you need the, the pauses to regenerate, you know. But if you have a little training volume, I think you can do that, you know. Then you have at least some training frequency. Perhaps you take the bicycle and go with the bicycle to work for it's perhaps it's 20 minutes of cycling, but you do it five times a week. It, it is something, you know. And when you don't find the time, this, these, these few things can add up and can give you also a basis and increase your, your abilities. I hope you understand what I mean. I try to train very efficient. You saw, you saw it in the workout. I combine cardio and strength training in a way. It's simply not true that you just need to do five reps and then yeah, you grow muscles and if you do 30 reps you don't grow muscles. That's bullshit. It's, it's bullshit. You saw the, 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 the guys cycling at the Tour de France or something, they have upper legs like this. If it would be true, they would kick him 12 to 15 times in the pedals and then they would make two minutes of break. But it's, it's bullshit, you know? They are cycling for uh, whatever how many hours per day and they have, they have legs like this, you know? So, you see, it's, it's, it's not the truth. Perhaps you get with the least effort the maximum result by doing that. But, yeah, you should get the maximum result that you can achieve. You should try to be the best you can be and not the best you can be with the least effort. I think, you know, especially when you have a normal job. And as I see it in my job, there's my job and there's my private life, there's the things that are important for me. And that's also my, my way of living, it's being ninja. And yeah, I use the time that I have. I mean, I, I don't waste the money of the company or whatever. I, I, don't, I do my work, everything is fine. But also there, I find the possibility to be myself. And not let me push in some frame that I don't want to be. And then in the evenings, I take my little free time that I have, the one hour that is left for me, and then, and then there I train. And it's my life, and I, it takes place every day, all the time. And that's something you might need to recognize and put into reality for yourself. And I think that can, can increase your abilities, can help you on your way, and you can uh, perhaps get the maximum out of it. I will, in some of the next videos, go into more detail about the exercises I do, and, yeah, and how to progress. I showed you the workout already. I think that's a really good thing. If you do it twice a week, you can be sure that your physical abilities are on a, on a very high level. Um, you will not need to go running or to the gym anymore. It's just like you have a lot of, of power then, I'm sure. And the rest of the time you can invest into just some technical training and, and, yeah, and stretching and everything. Okay people, I hope you liked the video, please like it, subscribe, leave some comment if you are in my opinion or if you think totally differently, if you have some other advice, um, yeah, that's it, stay aware and always one step ahead, see you.